Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today on One Software release No Noise 2024. In this video, we're going to get our first look at the application and I'm going to compare it to the previous release, No Noise 2023. We're going to be working on this image. Those of you that watch my videos know that I often use this image for these types of videos because it was shot with a relatively high ISO of 12,800. And if I zoom in, you can see that there is a considerable amount of both color and luminance noise. So it's a great image to use for these types of videos. Now I'm going to send it into No Noise 2023 first, and then I'll send it into No Noise 2024 uh, so that we could not only compare the results, but you could see how different maybe the interface is between the two versions of the app. So to send it into No Noise 2023, we're going to go up to File, down to Plugin Extras, then over and down to On One No Noise AI 2023. Now again, this is the previous version. When we do, we get this uh, dialog box, Export Options. Uh, it is an unedited RAW file. There hasn't been any editing done to it at all. I'm just going to edit a copy though. I can't edit the original because it is a Nikon RAW file, but I could go to file format and I could change it to a raw format so that I won't use any uh, raw qualities that I might have had in the original raw file. So we'll stay with DNG. Uh, we'll go with Adobe RGB as the color space, a 16 bit depth and resolution of 300, and we'll just click OK. And it will now create this DNG file and then open that DNG file up into On One's No Noise 2023. Why don't we maximize this? And you can get an idea what it looks like. Let's bring it down. Now in the lower right hand corner, you can see there's a progress bar. It's kind of giving you the, um, you know, the idea that it's uh, going through its updating. And you can see there's a before and there's an after. There's before and there's an after. Now, uh, you can see it's kind of bulging out a little bit. That's because the original RAW file, I have my camera default set up so that I do lens corrections. And uh, the DNG file that got created is, it doesn't have any edits on it at all, including lens corrections. So that's why it's like that. But if we go over and look at the right-hand panel, uh, you'll notice that right here in noise and sharpening, we have a choice to use just no noise AI or just Hack Sharp AI, this is where it will sharpen the image, or we could use both. You can see there's both there. Now for this demonstration, I want to call, I want to compare apples to apples. And in my opinion, this version, the 2023 version of No Noise, I didn't think Tack Sharp AI was very effective. As a matter of fact, I thought a lot of times it reintroduced artifacts into the image or created artifacts and it wasn't as good as it could have been. So I want to use both. So I'm going to click on both, and we're going to keep auto on. So we're, again, to compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges, I'm going to use auto for all the settings. In future videos, we'll delve into some more of the settings and adjustments we can do to improve the uh, image, the final image. So again, there is before, and there is after, and you can see that it has reduced the noise and it has sharpened the image. Although arguably you could say it maybe has over sharpened the image. Now I am using auto settings again. Now, if we look through, we could go up to this um, dialog box here and look at settings applied. And you could see that it's just showing uh, different settings that um, we've just did no noise AI right now, but I am able to crop the image and retouch it with some masking and other things like that. And if I did, that would be all up here, but I'm not going to do that in this video. You can see there's a layer section too, but we're not doing anything like that. We're just going to be doing a straight noise reduction with sharpening with auto settings. So I'm going to be on both. I'm going to have auto. I'm not going to move any sliders. I'm going to down here and go down here and click on done. Now, again, in a future video, I will uh, delve into some of the settings of On One uh, or No Noise 2024 a little more, uh, be a little more in depth on those settings. So uh, here is our original RAW file, and here is No Noise 2023. And you can see it did get rid of the noise. It does seem to be a bit over sharpened uh, there. We'll zoom back out. Um, we're going to I think we're going to rename this one. Uh, if I hit I, 
you can see the name of the file is underscore dsc4745.dng. So I could make sure I could tell them apart. I'm going to go to the library module in Lightroom and to rename it, I'll hit the um, F2 key and I'll just call this three. So this is, uh, or maybe I'll just call it 2023. That probably would be better, right? And we'll click OK. So that's uh, no noise 2023. We'll go back on the original raw file and now we'll send this one to no, no, no noise 2024. To do that, similarly, we'll go up to file, down to plugin extras, and this time we'll go down to on one no noise 2024. We get that same dialog box. I am again going to edit a copy. Again, it's going to be a DNG file, 16 bit Adobe RGB. Resolution actually doesn't really matter, uh, especially with your. Um, with working with a raw file, but that's fine. And we'll click OK. So now it will take this DNG file and it will open it up into No Noise 2024. And I, I want to add something very quickly. In a previous video I did when I was comparing a different um, a Pure Raw 4, I was doing a video on that. I mentioned that I would be doing a series of videos where I'll be comparing all of the noise reduction applications I have to Lightroom's built in. AI noise reduction, they call it to noise. Someone made a suggestion in the comments that I not do separate videos, that I do one single video. And I think that's a good idea. Uh, it's just kind of a waste of your time for me to do like, here's pure raw versus Lightroom. Here's another video of uh, no noise 2024 versus Lightroom. I really should do one video where I do uh, the same images in Lightroom and then those same images in all the different noise reduction applications I happen to own, and then you can compare the results. And I'll make the results somewhere so you could download them and look at them on your computer because sometimes it's difficult to discern through a video which one of the noise reduction apps might have been best. So you could determine that for yourself. Now you can see the workspace is very similar. On the left-hand side, we do have the crop tool and some of those other masking tools and whatnot. Over here on the right side, it is slightly different. Um, you have no, no noise, you have tack sharp or both. And again, we want to use both. So I'll go to both this time. Remember the other one you might've noticed just had one auto button when you were on both. This has two. So if you do both in no noise, 2024, you're able to do auto for either noise reduction or sharpening and not auto for the other. Uh, whereas with no noise 2023 it's either auto for both or auto off on both if that made sense so again we're going to uh keep auto on we'll go to this drop down you can see that you could uh choose the previous models from 2023 there were two high detail and just the 2023 model but again we're comparing it to the 2023 so we'll use uh 2024 see up here our layers uh, so it's a little simplified over here, if you ask me. Uh, again, we have the settings over here. Um, you could export it out of here. And by the way, I should add, I'm using uh, these apps, both No Noise 2023 and 2024, as Lightroom plugins, mainly because I could A-B the results easier in Lightroom. But this also works as a standalone application, and it works as a plugin in Photoshop. And eventually, it isn't out yet, but on one Photo Raw 2024, will have this built in but um, that will be uh, in a future update. Now, again, we'll kind of look at the before after, and I think the sharpening is much improved uh, compared to uh, No Noise 2023, and I'm not so sure about the noise reduction, but let's see. We'll go down here, and this is a little different down here. We just click this check mark, and it will uh, save this DNG file and open that up in Lightroom, and then we can compare all the results uh, to, or both the results, I should say, to that original raw file and to each other. And uh, I'll rename this one too, just because to keep with that same type of uh, protocol. This is it here. I am in the library module. You have to do this from the library module. Hit the F2 key and we'll call this 2024 and hit enter. And you can see down here, there's this little like uh, stamp in the corner here. That means that it has the embedded preview and it says right here, embedded preview to build the, you know, the previews that I use in Lightroom that I have set my Lightroom set, which are standard previews. I have to go to the develop module and then it will build that preview. I just want to do that. So we are 
really comparing apples to apples, oranges to oranges, and not. we're looking at a smaller preview and comparing it to a larger preview. Um, so with that said, here is uh, the original raw file. And as I mentioned, even though if I hit reset on it, you'll go to lens corrections, you'll notice that they're checked on. That's because I have my default set for this camera to have those checked on. So that's why there might be, I think, some difference in the bulging. So if I do it there and then come over here, oops, not there, and just make them all the same. It didn't find the lens though. So that's kind of a pain in the neck. I'm not going to worry about that right now, but take note of that. It did not find the lens. So I would have to manually come in and put in the lens. So it's a Nikon lens and I think it was a 500 millimeter lens. Right, and it's not even showing up. I don't think, oh, there it is. No, that's not it. I'm trying to look around my mic. So we'll just, uh, we'll just leave this off right now. We'll go to this one and leave it off. That's something to, I'll take up in a future video. I should have done this ahead of time and known that it didn't do it. Uh, but that's okay. We'll come in and let's zoom in. And we could see some feather detail, the eye and the background. You can see there's a ton of noise. Here is the 2023 version. Um, if you ask me, the sharpening is a little bit over sharp. And there is the tiniest bit of noise there um, still. Because I'm kind of being really fussy. But if I zoom in, you can see that noise there. Now let's compare that to 2024. 2024 is much better. I mean, it's like night and day. Is 2023, 2024. So it is much better. And if I go into this feather detail here on 2024, we could see the sharpness there. And then if I go here, you could see the difference in the sharpness. Also, there's a bit of artifacts around the edges here on 2023. And there's no artifacts on the edges of 2024. So in my opinion, 2024 is a significant improvement over 2023. Now, Again, this probably doesn't mean anything to many of you that use Lightroom because you're only going to compare, you're only going to care whether or not uh, a third party app is better than Lightroom's built in AI noise reduction. I mentioned that I will be doing that video. It'll be um, hopefully this week. I'm not 100% sure, but if not, it'll be early next week, maybe over the weekend, where I will compare all of the noise reduction applications I own, not only to one another, but to Lightroom's built-in AI noise reduction that they call Denoise. And then I'll make all those, I'll export all those results and I'll have them available somewhere for you to download. And then you'll be able uh, to compare for yourself on your computer, which one you think is best or would work best for you. And I'll probably use more than one image because I found that, especially with the Lightroom's built-in AI noise reduction, that it will work great on my Nikon files, but it doesn't work well like on my Ricoh files at all. At all, So we want to make sure that not only does it work well on a specific file type, but it works better than its competition. So that's why I'll do that video in that way. And then you could determine which is best for you. And I'll include the original raw files and you could try it at home. Uh, so we'll uh, tackle that uh, hopefully within this uh, next uh, seven days or so. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.